Hi there, Capricorn. This is Kim with your next 48-hour reading. Hope you get this one time. Like, I hope it comes out with everybody else's. It's, it's meant to be. Um, I do offer private readings if you're interested in that. Let's get right into your reading. Bottom of the deck is the Magician, so that's good. Hmm. Hmm. Manifesting. Slow but steady progress. King of Wands is in the reverse. That represents like um, either a person or something like that that wasn't that inspiring or that didn't, some kind of strategy of theirs didn't work out. Um, the Seven of Wands is in the reverse as the issue. Tell me more about that the world in reverse so you're over what's not changing however there's still a puzzle piece missing even though at the heart of the matter it's like waiting on change that never came also maybe waiting on somebody's heart to be focused on what their truth is what they advocate for Strength is the um, the challenge. Finding the strength is the challenge. Tell me about the heart of the matter then. What needs to change? Well, there is a focus on yourself, on health, with the Queen of Cups, and, and a focus on being able to open up and receive love and things like that. Pisces energy twice. The High Priestess is that just knowing you're feeling um, more than over it, like ready for a fresh start, and something is telling you, um, you know, the hidden truth behind maybe your circumstances and the strength that you need to decide on what you believe in. Maybe it's choosing to, I don't know, it's something to do with that star energy okay making things um making your hopes your dreams pretty much a reality we have you being very focused on some intent um intense change with the tower card here the queen of swords is really protective and focused and decisive King of Cups. The challenge with change or um, whatever change the tower represents is to to navigate it with love uh, without like getting mad or angry. And so balancing your mood or your, your emotions could be a challenge. The Queen of Swords. Decisive protective and at a crossroads where you're going to make a decision <clears throat> the ten of wands is in the reverse meaning that you um, rearrange what you have waiting on news the nine of swords is like um, like, while you're waiting on this news, you're waiting to hear about good news. 
while that's happening, there's a bunch of things shifting around and there's a lot of reprioritizing going on. There's also the three of swords in the hope or fear. So the hope or fear would, or the fear would be a third party situation, letting go of that. And there is a little bit of holding on to some resentment with the judgment in reverse or a situation where it's finding it hard to forgive. Ace of Pentacle in the reverse with the Two of Cups is almost like saying that there was, um, I don't know, some kind of missed opportunity for healing a situation. Um, and there's this, whatever this new partnership is, like it's going good. And you're able to make really good decisions. Um, good partnership. One missed opportunity to heal, possibly. The sun in reverse and things that have yet to be revealed. Yeah, regarding how much time, work, and investment you've put into a situation. So this is really about taking the time to decide what you want. Um... I don't think you're going back to a past opportunity at all. I think there was something that just couldn't be healed between you and something or someone. So now it's about patience, but having a, a partnership that's really working out very well. Yeah, walking and the issue is letting go of this three of swords or the 10 of swords energy. So letting go of some kind of sadness. Normally, you reinvent yourself after that. Yeah, and then revisiting a situation that's going to require strength and confidence, um, which, of course, you have. All right, that's what I've got for you. Sorry these were shorter, but I just want to make sure that they actually get published today with everyone else's um, reading. I do offer private readings if you're wanting something a little bit longer and different and more focused on you um three expression comes naturally to you you're very skilled at communicating thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits you are able to get others on board with your ideas i am charismatic it's what i've got for you so sending you light and love thanks for joining me bye-bye